fellow peasants, today we're going to make some hose. So grab your measuring tape, make sure your braze is sitting comfortably. We're going to go from the top of our braze and measure all the way down to our ankle. We're going to do the same for our inner seam, so go from your groinal area all the way down to your ankle. Next we're going to get our thigh measurement, our knee, our calf, and our ankle. It's also going to be beneficial for you if you measure from your thigh to your knee to your calf to your ankle etc etc. Make sure you write all these measurements down. It's also going to be beneficial to draw out the pattern. We're also going to put some little points in there as well. And then just write out all of your measurements and be thorough. And this is hopefully what we're going to get. So grab your material, grab your measuring devices, your pencil and your scissors. Mark out the center points, the top and the bottom of your material. As a reference point, I am going to measure out just the top of my hose. Make it as big or as small as you like. I usually go about four inches. And then for more reference points, I'm just going to measure from my hip to my thigh. These measurements we would have gotten previously. And then the thigh to the knee. This is going to help us mark out the main measurements that we got. And then knee to the calf. And then lastly, your calf to your ankle. And then for the bottom of the hose, I'm just going to draw out the measurement that I got for my ankle. Go ahead and mark out the circumference of your other points like I've done here and then it's just going to be a join the dots sort of deal and there you have your pattern cut it out um, another way to do your pattern is to just fold the material and then you'll need to halve all of your measurements there. But either way you do it, you'll have your pattern. I tend to measure out two inches from the bottom and mark that out because I'm not going to sew that bottom bit together just to make sure my foot fits through. Pin that all and sew it. Now we'll have these big flappy bits. You can either sew those down or you can do the easy way like I'm gonna do and cut it. And here we go. We're going to now hem the top and the bottom of our hose. And by doing that, we can either fold it once if it's a thicker material or fold it twice if it's going to be a bit more dainty to stop all that hemming. Pin it together like so. Sew it and then it's hemmed. And now we are going to make some eyelets. So here's one that I've just done. So the equipment that we'll need is something to draw with, some scissors, needle and a thread, and an awl, all something pointy. So we're gonna draw, draw out a little reference point. Then we're going to grab our awl and just push that through the material. 
Because this is wool, I'm being a little bit rough with it, but if you're working with something like a linen, be very, very gentle. We don't want to fray the edges. So we've got our hole now. And then next we're going to grab our needle and thread. And on the inside, about a centimetre from the centre of the hole, we're just going to thread that through. And then we want to sew around about five or six times around the circumference of this hole that we've made. So just do that around. So we have our six points here. Grab your awl again and just push it through just to stretch out that hole a little bit more. Then grab your needle and we're going to fill in all of these gaps. You might need to go around it five or six times just to fill it in. So you have something a little like this. We're going to grab our awl again and just push it through once more. Just stretching out that hole. Grab your needle and we're just going to thread it through all the stitching that we've done. We're not going to go through the material, just thread it through the stitching and do that all the way around. And then we're just going to tie it off. Give it a snip. And you're done. Let's put it on. And here are our hose. I've tied mine more in the front, you can do it on the side, but otherwise we're done. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial.